food game today. Yeah. We're gonna be trying the craziest secret fast food menu hacks. Eating like McDonald's fries with like Wendy's Frosties or yes. something. So like French fries and shakes. <laughs> it feels wrong. See? I bet I bet it tastes yeah. fries. <gasps> what was that? I love was that monster? A donut what? sandwich? Mini sandwich. Ooh. <gasps> oh, wow. Why do I feel like Chick fil A would do something like that? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Munchkins. I bet that's like so easy to eat. That's interesting. Right? But I love munchkins. Why are you ruining munchkins? We got our Popeyes chicken nuggets, but you can use any chicken nuggets you like. You can use McDonald's chicken nuggets, Chick fil A, but we got Popeyes wow. and some Dunkin' Donuts munchkins. Okay. My mouth is watering so hard. <laughs> it smells good. It does. Okay. And we got our blackened ranch sauce from oh. Popeyes as well. Wow. I've never tried I their love blackened ranch. Their ranch. Yeah, is it All true? right, assemble know. your munchkin slider and we're gonna try it at the same time. Ready? Okay. Cheers! Let's do. Yeah, that mm. works. Oh, you went all in. <laughs> I'm hungry as <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> The sweetness of the donut is not as strong as you would think it is. The idea of it, so the sweetness mixed with that savory. Oh my god! Oh, this is good. It's like crackers. <laughs> Maybe that. if this had syrup on it, I would like it more. Ooh. Well, one through ten, what do we rate this? Like a five? Five? That's a good. That's a good score. Six. Six. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would give it like a nine. I think I want to leave space for a nine because I feel like it could get better. So I'm gonna do like a seven. Maybe a six out of 10. Six yeah. out of 10? Yeah. I would go higher. I'd say that's an eight out of 10. Really? All right, I have a trivia question for you. Oh my gosh. Woohoo. Duncan started selling munchkins in 1973 as a fun way to use the donut dough from the center of the donut. Mm -hmm. About how many munchkins are sold globally per year? Just per give year? Me, give me a guess. Give me a guess. Okay, let's see, like 12 times like, let's say like 20 customers. 365 days. Duncan probably has like 12,000 stores. You're like doing the real math? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess a number and... I don't know, dude, I don't know how many. I don't know, I don't know. And reveal, let's see. One billion? Mm -hmm. I feel like one billion is probably million. closer. 12 mil? Million. 53. 12 oh, million. you went higher. <laughs> 3.9 million. 7.8, whoa. The answer is approximately one billion. Wow! Oh, what a nice. guess! Whoa! A billion? I can't even count. Billion! Whoa. Oh, you got it. Yay! Nice. One Good boy. Good job, Jamie. Thank you. It was a one again. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're probably hungry. And if you're hungry, you should probably check out PBF Chef, Ooh. our new channel that's gonna teach you how to make some of the iconic foods that we show on People Vs. Food and so many more iconic fictional food items. So if you wanna learn how to cook, how to make some of those good foods, head on over there, brand new channel. It's gonna be Chef's Kiss. Nice. Uh, I got a Baja Blast. Ah, I love him. Oh yeah, Baja Blast. No. No. Stop it. Don't it it. I'm into it. I feel like this is gonna work. Uh, Whoa. No, don't ruin the Baja Blast. Don't lie. This he's is like, delicious. This is so Oh. Good. No, okay, it's not. Okay, well, if he says it's delicious, I believe it. I do not <laughs> trust a man who does a cut after his sip. He goes, <laughs> ah, and then cuts, and then it's like, it was delicious. That was me, I did that cut. Oh, <laughs> <the cut rate. laughs> Let's try it out, shall we? Bro, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Already? Good. Have you ever drank a Baja Blast while wearing your Baja Blast shirt? I will today. Here we Baja go, Baja. Oh my gosh, like, like all of it? Oh, it's so, oh, the color's cute though. It's very unicorn-y. <laughs> you will like it. That's so weird. Oh, this is weird. This I don't like weird. how it looks. Going in and mixing and. Yeah, who thought of this? <laughs> I just need to know Only that like... guy. All right, give it a try. I hate that it changes <laughs> nothing. That was actually a pretty cute burp. Wow. Mm. Wow. Good. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm into that. This yeah. is my new thing. 
I'm never going back. I feel bad for hate, like hating on this so much before, but it's actually really good. <gasps> You're a float girl now. Wow, it's not like overpowering or anything. No, it like everything works. Sherbert. <laughs> yeah, actually. Gelato. That'll what the it. f is this? You definitely need all the ice cream. <laughs> no, all it's the gonna... ice cream. <laughs> is it good? I have to chug it and I don't like it. Okay, one out of ten, what do we think? Three. I'll give it like a... Eight? Jamie! What? What? It's good! Jamie, I can't believe you're a floaty. I'd give it an eight. I'd give it a three. For a drink, you know, for this to work, I would definitely mm. give this a ten out of ten. A ten out of ten, I'm for sure. A 10 out yeah, of 10 too. yeah, yeah. Trivia question for you. The Mountain Dew Baja Blast has been around for nearly two decades. Okay. Which, really? which of the following is not an item that is sold in a flavor called Baja Blast? Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, I got this. I think I got this. Lip balm, room <gasps> spray, vapes, saxophone reeds, or toothpaste. What the wait, hell? Wait, 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 wait. They have those? They all sound pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, reveal. Saxophone. It's a toothpaste. Oh, it's a toothpaste. Oh, okay. oh God. Yeah, we Wait, both had the same thinking. That is correct. Oh! Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. thank God. You got thank it. God. I would oh, say, if they made a toothpaste flavor, I would die. <gasps> Jolly oh, Bee! Oh, I've never oh. had Jolly Bee. Oh, it's so good. Really? Da, 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 da. Have you had Jolly Bee? I've never tried Jolly Bee. I've always wanted to try it. Jamie! Don't send it. My mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Do you think this will be a good combo? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Just spaghetti. Look at our spaghetti. Whoa. No cheese, no cheese. Okay, I see you. So, so it's chicken, chicken spaghetti dip in gravy. Yeah, you get that good chunky one. I want you to get the thickest one, dude. Oh, we're just eating the skin, not the yeah. meat. Just the just skin the, is the taco. You're gonna peel the skin off, and that's your taco shell, basically. Yeah. Oh, I thought I would be eating the meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay let's see. Let's see. Sorry, wow. sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm making wow. a mess. I'm gonna get some of that. I don't the... care. And then you're gonna dip, dip your it, dip little taco. The, yep, the your ta your chicken taco spaghetti into the gravy. I should have brought some tums today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers. I don't, cheers. <gasps> mm. You know what? I would go for a second one. But yeah, yeah. It's giving it a more of a crispiness, but. Mm -hmm. It's giving like texture. Yeah, but. It's a lot. It's just too much. It's not too bad in the ooh. Oh, oh, no, Jamie, 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 Jamie. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like gelatinized. I actually like it. You do? I actually liked it. A 10 because I do it anyways. Yeah, yeah. honestly, this is a 10. Four. Four, four out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think? Three or four, Keith? I'm gonna go, well, I'll go four. I'll stick four. with you on this okay. one. Okay. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Wow. <laughs> this one gets a two for me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Grab your whiteboards. Jolly Bee is, of course, known for their dancing bee mascot, which I'm sure you've seen. Yes. The, like, sexy bee. No, they give it to me, ass. I'm worth it. Yeah, he what? does that dance. Yeah. yeah. I want to see a sexy bee. But they've also had several Disney-inspired mascots to match each of the foods they serve. Oh. Which of the following is not one of their mascots? Oh, my okay. God. Shame on me, dude. I'm not going to know. I was like, shouldn't you know this? I should. Okay. Mr. Yum who is the burger mascot. Okay. Popo, who is the french fry mascot. Benji is the burger steak mascot. Twirly, who is the Sunday mascot. And Hetty, who is the spaghetti mascot. Mm. So we got Mr. Yum burgers, Popo french fries, Benji burger steak, Twirly Sundays, and Hetty spaghetti. Okay. One of these is not one of their official mascots. All right, let's see. <laughs> One Benji, one Hetty. Oh my God, is it Hetty? I like Hetty. No, <laughs> Deal. Mr. Yum Yum. Mr. Yum Yum. What did I you think? Benji. Ooh, Benji? Benji you is like correct. Benji. Oh man. Benji. I don't know one Filipino named Benji. I don't know what. Hetty. But you heard of Hetty? Hetty no, spaghetti. I just thought of... <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would have a, 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 a burger steak. Yeah. They do sell that there. They do. Whoa. They don't have a mascot for it. Got it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. A soft taco with okay. just refried beans. <gasps> Fire. Okay, right. So like we're crunch wrap supreme. But it's kinda like the crunch wrap supreme. Right. You know? Oh, she's oh. not finished. <gasps> the queso. 
Ah. Oh. So it's a DIY double decker, which is an item that they have taken off the menu. Oh, they used to have this. Yeah, it comes back every once in a while, but you're gonna make your own. So you got one soft and one hard shell. So we put the the, the hard shell in the middle. Yep. That looks appetizing as hell, you guys. Cheers. 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 Boom. Mm. It's good. Mm. It tastes the same, it's good. Mm. It's not bad. But it's not great. Fire. Wait, that's actually so good. Oh, okay. Whoa. It's heavy. <laughs> it's very it's heavy. heavy. One out of ten. Oh, this is like a solid nine. Nine. nine? I was gonna say nine, yeah. Oh. I'd a give three. it a six. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I'll give this a nine. Yeah, I'll give a it a nine. nine. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nine mm -hmm. for sure. Now I have another trivia for you. In its early days, in the 1960s, Taco Bell's menu only offered a limited number of classic options, including tacos, burritos. Frijoles? Frijoles? Yeah, frijoles. Frijoles? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, please put it And tostadas. Mm -hmm. Each item cost only how much, according to the Huffington Post? Oh. Each Let item, are they the same amount? In the 60s, yes. In so the this limited menu, everything cost how much? Alright, reveal. Ooh, I said 25. I said 35. Damn. Oh, shoot. 60 cents and 29 cents. Okay, both great guesses. <laughs> All right, reveal. <laughs> reveal, reveal. We have one 20 cents and one 19 cents. And the answer is, you're not gonna believe this. 19 cents. <laughs> you're kidding. Are you actually? No, that's so unfair. What? <laughs> Bro, I have 19 tattoos. No. 19 cents, wow. 19 cents. What? Yep. Can we take it back to that? That would be awesome. All right. I saw Jamie's answer and I was like, minus one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's see. Mozzarella sticks. Oh, what is that? They had mozzarella sticks? I didn't know that and now I might have to go there. Huh? Oh. Oh, I feel like that wouldn't be bad. Right? With mozzarella sticks? Yeah, I'm a big cheese stick fan, but like, Bronco Berry? What is that? I love What's that a it's Bronco playing like berry? the No 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 song because I feel like <laughs> we have Arby's mozzarella sticks, and you are going to be combining them with the Bronco Berry sauce. I love Arby's, but it's like a jam kind of. Oh, like a sweet and sour. Dude. It looks like straight up Panda it Express. It looks like straight up sugar. So, what do you think about putting a cheese item into like a jam? I'm not mad at oh. it. Fried crab rangoon? Like a crab rangoon. Whoa! That's what like. I hope Cheers. it tastes like that. Cheers. It's giving that a little bit. Mm. I'm not mad at it. Oh, this is god awful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> mm -mm. I can't even eat it. I don't recommend that one. What is wrong with their mozzarella sticks that they taste like they French taste, toast? They don't taste like, yeah. I you guys are making bottom. me want to try it. I'm gonna yeah, it. try Come. it. Oh, it's like hard. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nothing about that is nothing, good. Nothing, no. I really don't want it. All right, what do you think? One out of 10. Like a seven? Oh, okay, yeah. This for me, I would give it maybe like a five. Yeah, I was gonna say like a six. That's a one okay. out of 10. Yeah. Really? Not, I'm giving it a zero. zero. Yeah. yeah. True or false? Arby's sells enough shakes each month to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Each month? Is it false if it's more? Uh, yeah. All right, reveal. Both of you said false. Mm -hmm. I think it's more than that. True. No, like true. I said false. I think false. it's more than just one swimming pool. I think it's less. I hope it's less. Wait, I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Okay. Man. It's only one swimming pool. Only one? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh! oh! That's so What is sweet. that? Oh, that's from Taco Bell, right? That's like the Crunchwrap Supreme. Yes. Oh! oh! No. You're kidding. Oh, that's heck so much. yeah. That's a hefty one. I told you. <laughs> but I love the burgers from In-N-Out. 
Oh, that's oh my like God. the amount of calories I probably eat in a week. <laughs> what is that? I love how that's like you get like a, a protein style cheeseburger and then you put a crunch wrap supreme on it, you know? Josh, Josh, Josh. <laughs> We're gonna try it! Okay! <laughs> so you each get two burgers and two crunch wraps. All right, and your crunch wraps are your burger buns. So you're gonna disassemble, disassemble the burgers. So go ahead and Wait, assemble this So baby. we put them like. Crunch wrap, burgers, crunch, crunch wrap. Okay. Two so our burgers. Crunch wrap is our, our bun. Exactly. It's pretty heavy. Oh my god, that's. Like, how many pounds do you actually think? Three pounds. Right. This is a three pounder. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Can this I... is the largest burger I've ever had. Oh my god, same. <laughs> Make sure you get a bite with the burger in yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna get a big bite. Great. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> little bite, little bite for Keith. Mmm. Mmm, good. This is actually pretty good. Okay, you think it's gonna be worse? Yeah, it's actually not that bad. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is terrible. It's confusing because it's not confusing. The big issue for me is the you took McDonald's a big... cheese. <laughs> Look at this bite. That yeah. bite is huge. It also could use some like sauce. It's a little dry. It's think that's very why, like, dry. Your saliva has to like break this down, and it's like really mm -hmm. having a hard time. That's true. <laughs> Bro, it's heavy. Thick. <laughs> All right, one out of ten. What do we think? Eight. Yeah, you know what? Eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'd give it a seven. I'd give it a six. Okay. Two. Two. I'd give it a two. Mm, one. Right, last know. trivia question for you. Before deciding on Contrap Supreme, they had a bunch of other name options for the meal. This item was almost named what? Oh. Okay. And I want you to tell me which one was not one of the options for Crunchwrap Supreme's name. Okay, so there's like a boardroom and everyone's like, okay, what could we name it? Yeah. Okay. Crunchalada, Crunchwrap Delight, Origami Tostada, Mexagon. Mexicon. Mexagon. Mexagon. Mexagon, yeah. <laughs> or Crunchwitch. Ugh, all those which are really was bad. It not named? One of these was not almost one of the names of the Crunchwrap Supreme. Oh, you think that's wrong? All right, reveal. I kind of like Mexalata. <laughs> you do. Boom. Oh. Origami Guy, Crunchwrap Delight. Origami Tostada. I Sorry. said Crunchwrap Delight. Both like of those origami. were actually options. No. The one that was not is Crunchwrap Delight. I Similar? was going to go to the origami, but I was like, hold on. All the names sound crazy as it is. Origami is taking a little too far. Right. <laughs> Let's be very clear. Right. But I was like, Crunchwrap Delight just sticks out like a sore thumb, you know? Oh. That was one of the options. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> that is the episode, my yeah. friends. And our highest rated item by you two was the, I'm sorry. Absolutely. The, ball ball ball. Ball. Uh, the Munchkin Slider was the winning item for you guys today. Okay, that okay, makes sense. yes. Right? I actually like the Jollibee one the most. Ooh, yes. Jollibee combos. Jollibee. Jolly B, Asians, Asians, Asians. All right, are there any of these you're gonna have again? Absolutely not. I've never had. I like the, no, the Jolly Bee one. I'll do that one. Maybe the Jolly Bee one. Yeah, I guess we I do it anyways. The Baja. Yeah. Honestly, I would do the Popeyes with the Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. And if you're still here, go subscribe to PVF Chef, where they're gonna teach you how to make all the fun fictional foods that you see on People vs. Food with Chef Ash and Chef Kimmy. It's gonna be. Amazing. Chef's kiss. Subscribe.